hello guys welcome to global happenings today we have a, a trending news today and the headline reads a group uncovers cries out for help uncovers plot by meiti Allah smuggling deadly weapons into southwestern zone but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it so that you can get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube okay, let's go straight into the news of the day a pan yoruba group called yoruba youth forum yyf has raised an alarm over what it described as plot by some members of Meitiala to smuggle weapons into the southwest using the guise of transporting cows to cover up the group speaking through its president general comrade abiodun balarinwa said that the group has uncovered the plot of some of the members of Meitiala to smuggle AK-47 rifles into the southwest using the guise of transporting cows and which security agencies don't normally check. We have uncovered plot by some members uh, of Meteorla to smuggle weapons into Saturday under the guise of transporting cows. This is all because of their failed attempt to prevent the operation of armor Tekon. Bola Rinwa urged all governors in the Southwest who are the number one security officers in their various states to look into the issue and put all necessary machinery in motion to safeguard life and property of the Yoruba people and other law abiding members of the public. The earlier we understand that Meetiala is not comfortable with the establishment of Amatekon, the better we begin to take matters concerning our security seriously. These people have an agenda in the Southwest, and if we fold our hands and look the other way, we will pay dearly for it. We must all be vigilant and take nothing for granted when it comes to security. All right, that's the news what Nigerians have taken to their social media handles and they have. I uh, reacted to this news and uh, we're going to read one or two of them or three they're about and uh, we'll go straight into the analysis of the day this one here says i am a yoruba man sir nothing can be done by anyone to stop fulani in the southwest mm, that's strong they are here already and 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 aware that the same yoruba people have sold their bet right in the last poll when we're where were you, Yoruba elders, when Tunubu, aka Jagaban, was busy opening his filthy mouth campaigning for the same killer party? Are you not the same people that support him and fold your hands and allow killer manner into your nest? Please be awake, nothing like Nigeria in the past seven years. What you brought upon your generation is now full and it dynasty. Already I have seen Hausa in my area killing a Yoruba man, killed a Yoruba man in cold blood and nothing happened you know but it's a pity i will over me same mistake now your generations are doing same and i only pity the younger ones and the unborn children because you cowards have mortgaged the future and those of you that voted this man the blood of the innocent shed will be on your hands forever forget your amotekun forget your Oduduwa nation the fulani house is everywhere kudos to akere dolu and sheye makinde for their gallant attitude but it's too late Yorubas are slave, not until God himself cut down the self-acclaimed Iroko tree in Lagos that held the entire Yorubas into captivity. Then we can have our freedom. Till then, Yoruba might be history. Mm, very strong one, I tell you. But let's see other, what others are saying. Here, this one says, Majority of the Yoruba leaders are all traitors and cowards. They are such noise makers. I only respect the view among them who never bow to the foot of their enemies and the feet of their adversaries. Even the Yoruba people you wish to die for are the same people to hand you over to prosecutors, to jail you, even to kill you. Yorubas are wired to be such unorganized tribes. They need to rediscover their mistake and restate their steps. Mm, that's your opinion. Okay, let's see what others are saying. This one here says, We are tired of mouth flattering and jabbering. All we need is actions. Let actions speak out, not mouth, please. Hmm. This one here says, Sir, you have successfully smuggled armed ammunition into Yoruba land. Go to Ogere, Toge Tinugu, and see what is going on there. Hmm. So it's a regular thing already in the southwest. Here, this one is saying, You people should know. No, not allow that they are deceptive. All their peaceful trances 
are ashamed. Please, all your eyes should be on them to, so that uh, they stop their evil plans. I can't place what kind of human species they are. Please, we are no violent cannibals, no blood taste in nature. We need, we why not count out, count us out, southerners? These people are flap, flippant. Why not lay ambush and arrest them when they come? You are shouting and making noise. Police your forest area. Police what enters in, enters the house of any community because they must have a safe landing place. Mm. We'll take this last one and we'll go into the proper analysis. Start silencing them secretly. Mm, that's a strong one. And that one here says, It's unfortunate that Lagos government are playing politics with the security of lives and properties of Lagosians. I say this because if not, I see no reason a place like Alaba Ragon should exist without any form of check. That place is playing host to all manner of foreigners who are usually brought into the state in the wind of the night in trailers unchecked so the Yorubas must put this 2023 thing and the northern threat of denying them 2023 only then would the Yorubas defend their territory against this foreseen inversion some of them were arrested in a mere ekiti ekiti state okay that's um, how much you can take on the issue of um respondents online but this is, uh, I don't think it's actually news if you ask me. We already know this that uh, from time immemorial. Don't, don't you think it's uh, rather funny that um, an average uh, Fulani Hartman has a way of having AK 47 moving freely? Whether licensed or not, I have no idea. But they usually carry the AK 47 openly when they, whenever they are grazing land. You ask yourself, how do they have? access to AK-47. These guys have not, um, uh, they've not, some of them don't even have access to good money, as in cash per se. They are not exposed, they're not learned, they are not, um, they've not been privileged to go to a war zone. How come they keep having AK-47 dagger knives, all manner of weapons whenever they move for their open grazing? How do they get it? Sometimes some of these guys are even under underage. I'm talking about um, 18, 17, they're about they're rearing their cattle. They move times in twos and in trees. And yet they are well equipped. So it's not as if they just wake up one morning and go to shop and buy themselves AK-47. Someone somewhere and the set of a cabal that is well organized is funding them with the right weaponry. And when you see people begin to make you know so much bold statement to say that all your bushes or surrounding bushes, if you check our feet, you find out that we've we made a video where um, one of them meet Allah, one of the um, Fulani headsmen said, Look, forget about the bushes, they all belong to us. And you know, that Nigerians, uh, Nigeria, and Nigerians are fully surrounded. The bushes and the surrounding bushes belong to them, they shouldn't dare step their feet into uh, their surrounding bushes because it belongs to them and it, it, for them to be such strong statement it clearly shows that uh, they over the years they've been entering even though we have um, nigerians by default have never given them roga they've never given them na national livestock program but they have taken it by force in these guys by taking the bushes surrounding all the environment according to them and uh, they, they, i would say they're making bold they're saying what they're saying because so to speak they know what they have they they they, they have taken statistics of how, how many there are and how well they have you know covers the whole cities and uh, the whole communities in nigeria they can boldly say okay about certain percentage which is above average they have covered them and they're now saying look Wherever you are, the Nigerian, don't step your feet into uh, the, the bushes. They now belong to the Fulanis. And now, to make it more easier, so that um, in case of any forceful, because I guess they're anticipating that any moment there will be, the likely maybe retaliation, the, the, the likely maybe an awakening from the Southerners. They are beginning to sense that at some point, with the way they are moving in, some at some point southerners will begin to react and if there should be any reaction they want their weapons in full readily available to them so using the cows you know behaving in a city they're transporting their cows well as on under the truck beneath the truck and all that they have put enough weapons for the doomsday and i and most time of these are trucks because they say a lot of cars 
in the trunk they just go unchecked even if it is checked who would probably report them it has been almost a norm in nigeria we have the sacred cows have the citizens that are super citizens in nigeria while others are just men they just want to call them citizens but actually slave citizens in nigeria of course over the over the months that I played by we realized that there's some certain statements that are made that are normal speeches even though you know they're pro provocative statements but other nigerians make such statements not even half of such as terrible as such statements are where they will call them uh, um, his speeches and uh, but this is where we have gotten ourselves into this is the level of ethnicity that's been playing out where terrorists seem to have field day and have fun and ordinary nigerian citizens seem to be living in constant fear uh well like one person has rightly said why making uh, raising alarm and making us why not um this is why Hamataku is formed. When you get such information, don't even bother to raise alarm to the police. They may likely not be able to do anything much, not because they don't want to, but because their hands are tied, technically speaking. So the best thing to do, rather than them call um, Amotek, rather than call the police, why not call uh, the the Amotek, you know, that has been empowered and let them do the need for because time is short while we are yet sleeping. The, even the holy books will say the enemy came and sold us while men sleep. So I think there's a wake up call. This is already in your home. If they have beginning to come into Lagos, Lagos is a large city. Lagos is a home for, of many things, many humans, many companies, many factories, and uh, many offices. I feel that um, the governor of Lagos they should be on top of this job. If not just the governor, the people of uh, Lagos, I mean the Lagos, should still work there. They should be alert, red alert. And uh, the, like one has rightly said, you don't allow the war to come to your home. You keep yourself secured. If uh, the hands of our security men are full, at least uh, we shouldn't be too busy to protect our own lives. And property but uh, that's what that's what i'm going to start wrapping up what do you think about this raising of alarm that they're bringing in weapons from all walks of life into lagos into some of these um, cities in the southwestern zone and they're crying out that the police should you know look into it and you know should cop this whole thing because if it goes unchecked uh, that's a doomsday waiting what do you think about that statement uh, well, I, for me, I feel that they should be on top of their job, not just make noise. Uh, like one had rightly said, uh, do the needful. I feel they should also do the needful. Uh, the needful time will tell. All right, let's interact in our comment section. Do stay tuned for more updates on this. Have a nice time. Bye.